everyone. Welcome to Three Questions with an SSO Musician. I'm Jasmine and I'm here with Lee Sin who plays the clarinet for the Singapore Symphony Orchestra. Hi everyone. All right, so over the last couple of weeks, we've been asking students to submit questions and we've picked three that we're going to ask Lee Sin here and he's also going to share a couple of techniques and share some advice about how to play the clarinet. So uh, our first question comes from Yen Jo. So this is quite a personal one as well. Were you scared to perform at first? So maybe, you know, during your very first performance, um, how did you feel about it? During my very first performance, wow, that's so many years ago. <laughs> how many years ago? I mean, wow, when I was uh, like sec four so like age. 16? Uh, maybe 15. 15. Yeah, like that. I still exactly remember the, the feeling, even the venue I'm play, I was playing, the piece I was playing. Mm. I, I didn't remember that I was really nervous or scared mm. because that age, I was like uh, really enjoying playing music uh, in the different places mm. with friends in a school hall. The piece we were playing is uh, Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and uh, Beethoven VI. Mm. Yeah, that, that was amazing pieces. We were just enjoying playing. Mm. If you are, you know, um, you like what you are doing and you want to do your good preparation, mm. then when you perform, you're more concentrated. Yeah. You're more motivated. Yeah. You can perform more, you can overcome some of the nervous feeling. Yeah. 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 I totally hear what you mean as well. Mm -hmm. I think, like, you know, I think preparation is key. And I think, you know, uh, preparation, a lot of confidence comes with preparation as well. So that kind of leads me to my second question I want to ask. Um, uh, this question is actually from Rohit and Chen Si. So this is more of a technical one. So it seems that achieving a good tone is not an easy thing to do on the clarinet. So, you know, how do you improve the tone on the clarinet and also for something called throat notes? Throat notes. Yeah, throat <laughs> notes, yeah. This is very particular to clarinet. Mm. Yeah, because the, the way the instrument built over the register key, because clarinet is built not uh, over the octave. Yeah. So over the register key, we are 12th interval. Okay. This is very unique, different with any other instrument. That okay. create the problem around the register key. Okay. Yeah. Is that the throat of the instrument? Right. Okay. Yeah, we just, we, we press nothing. This is the typical throat note. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we press one key or two key. And for the ambusher control, it's, it's actually very uh, natural. Mm -hmm. You can just blow air, you can make the sound. That's why we learned this register at the first, in the yeah. beginning. Okay. Um, but because that's easy with fingerings and the ambusher, then we become a bit lazier oh. of voicing the note. I see. And in the throat note, we very often forget to, to use that effort. We just play easily. Okay. So could you like demonstrate that for us? You know, what's the, an overall, a good overall tone that we want to right. achieve then? Yeah. Yeah, I will demonstrate that uh, uh, lazy throat Tone. Okay, like a before and after, right? Yeah, yeah. and I will try a uh, higher register, the more challenging register, and we apply that uh, embouchure and air support back to the throat note. Then I very often feel I am improving my throat note. Okay, so let's hear it. Okay. Yeah. So this is a very airy sound, uh, which is also the challenge that when we play throat note, uh, because we are just blowing without a good ambusher support. And I would like to play a, a register which is more challenging, the very high notes, which uh, as I know, when we were in the secondary school, in school band, we don't uh, seriously practice that much because uh, it's very challenging and it's not so much in our music, but that's very important for the fundamental because in that register, we naturally build our ambusher. And I suggest we play not very loudly with soft volume. In that way, we will not uh, press the sound. We can still feel the air go through the instrument. And then I will come back to the throw note and I hopefully can hear the difference. And we apply
thank you for the demonstration. I think it's wonderful to hear, you know, what uh, hear the sounds that we want to achieve and try to avoid, you know, the very simple beginner mistakes that we make as well. So the third question I would like to ask you, and I think this is from so this is from Ze Yuan. Uh, would like to know if you have any tips on how to tongue better. Yeah, when when we have uh, uh, good ambitious support, our tongue is more regulated, mm. and when we have good air support, the tongue become more flexible, and very very often less heavy. Mm. Even there is less job to do with embouchure. Embouchure is rather stable mm. and uh, doing less job than the air. I see. Okay. Well, um, well, thank you very much for answering all the questions and giving us advice. And before we go, we'd actually like to know if maybe you can play a little something for us? Yeah, sure. Sure? Okay, okay great. So this is from Beethoven. That's all the time we have. Thank you very much for watching this video, Three Questions with an SSO Musician. Now, if you like the video, please stay tuned to SSO's Facebook and YouTube page for more content. Bye! Bye!